DJ kind of able to separate himself out of the other running backs there? Uh, you know, you could tell he really uh, studied his butt off over the summer, um, came back and, and uh, really picked up right in fall camp and, and uh, was really up to speed on his pass pro um, and splits pickup stuff, um, his assignment sound, you know, uh, knowing what he was supposed to do. And, and that allowed him to play faster, you know, and we knew he had it in him as an athlete. but. Uh, then being able to show that on the field with his knowledge was uh, was evident, and he, he really uh, did a nice job. You probably get like multiple weeks to prepare for your first game. Is it kind of like preparing for the bowl game, and you got a couple weeks to kind of go at it? Yeah, a little bit. You know, you, you got to just make sure that more time doesn't mean you you know you, you do too much, right? You know, you got to stay to the plan, keep it simple, and uh, but it has been similar to you know to that extent, and been proud of our guys how they've not let it get monotonous, even though there's been a lot of rep repetition through it. And, and they've been uh, staying sharp and, and attacking it each day. Colin, is there a line between maybe not wanting to show too much or show too little it, it, the first game out of the season? You know, I, uh, yes. You know, there's, there's certain things. But it, it kind of, some of that takes care of itself a little bit, just based on who you're playing and, and what you need to bring to the table. and. Uh, in certain packages that week. Some of that will take care of itself and, and something we got to stay on top of of our own self-scout tendencies as we move through the season. But, uh, you know, the bottom line is, is we need to play clean, we need to play well, we need to, uh, you know, be fundamentally sound in all aspects because it doesn't matter what scheme we try to run or not run. If, if we can't do that, we don't, it's going to be difficult. How is that center position shaping up? The Combo blocks and all the intricacies involved with that. You know, it's it's been really good. Uh, you know, Hayden and Hadley have, have both done a great job. You know, I think both of them will see some time there, and and uh, you know, we're fortunate to have two guys that that are experienced that you know that have played and and are both doing a great job there. And uh, you know, there'll be uh, you know a handful of guys that play there up front, and uh, it'll be good to get continue to grow those guys, evaluate them, and, and find that right match. Sadly, looking at walking in on one side of the other <clears throat> guard. Uh, he he will play a little bit of guard. You know, it's it'll kind of be a uh, you know second third possession of the game type situation. And how Coach Riley will you know will finagle that based on how things are going. Injury wise, anything pop up this week since depth chart came out on Monday? Uh, no, I think I think we were in good shape. When it comes to the pace. Do you kind of prepare how fast or? You know, monotonous. You want to run your offense, or is it kind of a game flow? A little bit of a game flow. You know, it's uh, it'll be again back to a large part in execution. Uh, <clears throat> you know, and, and we're only going to be able to go as fast as as we're able to execute and operate. You know, and, and making sure that we're staying sharp and and getting ourselves in in, in certain positions. And uh, you know, this is going to be a great first challenge for us. I mean, they they do a lot of great things. They're very very well coached, and uh, you know, it's uh, it's it's important that we play well and clean and how that goes will, will be a little bit week to week, series by series. Colin, you got two other your former teammates coming back for the Ring of Honor this weekend. I was wondering if you could tell us your favorite memories of both Tyler and Arthur. Hmm. Man, uh, tell you what, two two special special teammates, there, there's no doubt about it. You know, I think, uh, um, you know, starting with Arthur, I think it's just he, he's, he was just such a steady, uh, you know, presence, you know, not just on the field, obviously with his play, but just from a leadership standpoint, you know, he never said too much, but everything he did say, everybody listened because it, you know, it, it was it was from his heart and and uh, you know, so competitive, worked so hard. I mean, you know, we we'd practice our butts off, and he'd go in the weight room and get some extra shoulder work or this and that, and, and it's like holy cow! I mean, the, the dude's a machine, <laughs> and uh, you know, he's uh, uh, just incredible, Tyler. You know, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, there's so many because we worked a little bit more hand in hand on offense. Uh, you know, I think the Oklahoma State game comes to my mind. His true freshman year, you know, he gets hurt on that touchdown catch early in the game, ends up getting pretty seriously hurt, and still returns the, you know, uh, kickoff return there in the second half that kept us in the game. And and uh, again, just so raw, genuine. Uh, unbelievable leader, unbelievable talent, and an uh, unbelievable teammate. What are the emotions going to be like for you on Saturday when you finally see your name up there? Have you had a chance to think about that at all? Not really. You know, it's it's uh, 
I'm sure there will be a minute to, to be able to step back and, and reminisce a little bit. Uh, again, it's, it's about this week for me. It's about our guys and making sure that, that we're in as, as good a position as we can be, as prepared as we can be, uh, to let them go out there and, and uh, play the best clean game they possibly can and get after it. Are you going to stand in or are you going to be out there? Uh, I think my wife and, and kids will be out there. Um, and uh, be able to accept on my behalf, but uh, you know we got to make sure everything's everything's in order. With the collection of wide receivers, how have they messed with that Ward all, <clears throat> all fall? Coach Ward's done a tremendous job with them. I think each one of them has improved in uh, you know in, in in an area that they needed to. Um, you know I think the the competition while helping one another is something that he's really brought. You know he's brought an edge to them of them really pushing themselves each day, them pushing each other every day. The communication has increased from them being able to, to help and stay on top of one another on those little details and things in their craft. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a winner's edge that, that he's really brought to that room that, uh, that has been fun to see. And, and we've got to carry it forward and, and ultimately do it on the field. Is there anything special, special you plan to emphasize with Adrian heading into his first game at K-State? You know, I think uh, just stay within himself and, and, and be himself and, and that, you know, he doesn't need to do anything that he hasn't done in practice or that we haven't uh, prepared him for uh, and that he would, you know, just be himself and, and trust his teammates and, and uh, you know, have fun. Are you comfortable with kind of knowing what he likes to do, like play-wise and what he's comfortable with? I think that's something we're – Constantly in the process of learning and, and growing into, um, you know, he's he's very studious. I mean, we, you know, we're texting late, late in the evening last night about some ideas and thoughts, and and so, uh, you know, I think we're we're getting better. I think I have a uh, and getting a better feel for that, but I think that's something that's going to continue through this year as well. How important is that between a quarterback and an offensive coordinator? It's imperative. I mean, just to be thinking the same thing when we see a certain thing come up with the same conclusion or and then be able to to communicate on on that level is 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 critical for us to be our best that's going to be different calling the game now after i mean the, the first game you obviously couldn't make a whole lot of changes for the bowl game mm -hmm. but now having had that whole off season to to kind of fine tune things i'm really excited and again it's it's a it's a credit to our players they've anything and everything new that we've asked them to do they've dove in attacked it, prepared extremely hard. And, and that's where my excitement and confidence comes from is, is just their, uh, you know, their mindset, their approach, their, their mentality and, and hunger to get after it and, and how it starts to take shape and, and we put it all together. You know, I'm, I'm really excited for that journey and, and to go along with them. Also with Deuce's versatility, do you have anything where maybe he and DJ are both on the field at the same time? Uh, you know, I don't know if uh, it'll be maybe this game, but I mean, there's definitely some personnel packages and things that we can do to to put people in different spots for sure. And, and Deuce gives you that uh, versatility. I mean, he's uh, he's an he has unbelievable receiver ball skills, as we all is well documented. But he's uh, he's great to throw the ball to. So we'll, you know, we're going to use him. What's impressed you the most about how Taylor has kind of gotten himself back and, and healed after getting hurt last season? You know, I mean, that's a, it, it's a, obviously a tough injury, you know, at, at any position, um, you know, but it's uh, something of that level is, is as much after the physical recovery, getting back to where you can trust it and, uh, you know, really be yourself. And he's been very courageous that way. And, and really, you could tell even through this camp now, getting the pads on again, playing full speed, um, has really pushed himself through uh, some of those barriers and, and, uh, I respect the heck out of him and, and really appreciate him for, for that courage. Coach Kleiman said uh, during his press conference on Tuesday that if a helmet pops off at the quarterback position, Jake Rubley is going to go into the game. Is he kind of in that number three spot at the quarterback? And can you kind of talk about his development? Yeah, no, he, uh, Jake had a really good camp. You know, I was really proud of how he studied and, and the improvement he was able to, to make and the confidence and speed at which he was able to, uh, to play with. And, and, uh, uh, you know, so I would say yes. You know, to answer your question, he's he's in that third spot right now, and and uh, I'm so blessed and fortunate to work with so many. My quarterback room, every single one of those guys is such high character, such in it for for the team and the team concept, and and helping each other out. And 
Jake does that for Will, Will does that for Adrian, Adrian does that for Jake, and, and all of them really do a tremendous job of, of focusing on the mission, bettering themselves and the team, and, and whatever's necessary, they've, they've answered the bell. And that's, I, I know that's what all of them will do through this journey this season. Uh, how Christian Moore was able to progress over, over summer with Jax being out. What, what have you liked most about what he's done? In, in that kind of extra. You know, what I've appreciated so much about Christian is, is, is he's a really, he's a student of the game. He knows how the Y and the F fit together, how, what's going on up front and, and whose responsibility is what, based on what, what fronts you're, you know, it happens to be. And, and he, you know, he, he gets on guys if, if someone, you know, uh, uh, messes up and holds them accountable that way, because he cares, you know, and, and he wants it right and wants to do it right. For himself and, and as the team, so he's been a, a great kind of leadership presence in that way too of, of creating that accountability and competition as, as well as uh, you know playing well and, and doing it himself. What does make KT such a good left tackle for you? I mean, he's a physical specimen. I mean, you know, he'll, he'll get on that double team and that sucker moves. You know, I mean, he's uh, he's physical. Um, you know, I think. Watching him, how how he's been able to play faster and process everything that's going on on around him has really been impressive. The last 12, 24 months of you can tell he's he understands and knows knows what's going on, and that with his physical ability and and uh, again, I mean he's uh, you, you can tell his heart's in it and, and he wants to make it right and, and do well and, and wants the team to succeed and and uh, that's a it's a good combination.